Welcome to the um, High Altitude uh, Normal Barrack Lab uh, here at Embry-Riddle. Uh, probably the first uh, question that a lot of people have is uh, why do high altitude training? Uh, the precedence was actually set by uh, the military years ago uh, because all military aviators uh, go through high altitude uh, training uh, specifically for uh, hypoxia awareness training. Uh, knowing what your personal symptoms are when you are at high altitude, uh, low pressure situations where uh, your body is essentially starving of oxygen. In general aviation aircraft that we have today, we have high performance aircraft uh, that are certainly capable of flying well above 10,000 feet where hypoxia can uh, certainly be a problem and an issue. So that awareness of what hypoxia can feel like and what your symptoms are becomes important to the general aviation pilot. But similarly with uh, the commercial pilots, airline pilots, or corporate pilots, we do lose pressurization. We do have problems from time to time with the aircraft and uh, knowing what it actually feels like uh, might mean that I would recognize my symptoms, uh, be able to get an oxygen mask on and protect myself before it ever became a fatal problem. With a normobaric uh, chamber or a normobaric lab, you have normal barometric pressure. So there is no pressure change in this particular lab, but what we do is we lower the oxygen content with oxygen scrubbing machines. So therefore, by taking the oxygen out of the air in this environment here, we still create a hypoxemic environment uh, that creates hypoxia in the individual allowing them to feel the same symptoms that they would feel if they were in an unpressurized airplane uh, or at high altitude. Of course, some of the advantages of having a normobaric uh, lab is the fact that you don't have the risk associated, risks such as barotrauma, uh, ear blocks, sinus blocks, and certainly you don't have the risk of uh, decompression sickness or evolved nitrogen gas coming out of solution that you do with a low pressure uh, type of training system. So students will come inside, sit here, uh, be on headset, and uh, we will give them a number of uh, different tasks to do. Uh, there are uh, worksheets in which they will fill out and uh, they can conveniently circle or write in their symptoms of hypoxia that they are actually experiencing. We also give them some other little uh, tasks. It might seem very simple uh, to slip, take something uh, that is designed for a two-year-old and be able to put blocks uh, inside of the little box. But when you're getting hypoxic, when your brain is starving of oxygen, it becomes very confusing and very difficult to find the correct holes in the box or even make the connection of what shape cube you have in your hand. We also use many of the uh, aviation related tasks that they might be doing, like selecting things from a chart, selecting information from a chart, copying ATC clearances and things like that. And it's always very interesting to watch how those skills deteriorate as an individual becomes more and more hypoxic. The whole idea is to have them recognize their symptoms and be able to recover or correct by donning an airline style oxygen mask just like the ones that you would find in the airlines or in a corporate airliner. 